I'm George, and in this Coral Fish Trilogy video, I will explain everything you need to know about mixing saltwater for your reef aquarium. Water changes are inevitable in this hobby, and you need to do them to have a thriving reef ecosystem. Chances are that you're sick of buying clean saltwater from your fish store and want to start making your own to save money. Well, this process isn't difficult, and I'll show you how to do it with some tips so that you can be successful. Okay, so there's a few key equipment components that you're going to need before you start. First, make sure you have RODI water ready to go, and it's nice to have a TDS meter to make sure it reads zero TDS. You do not want to be using tap water or any water that doesn't read at zero ppm. Next, you're going to have to choose a brand of salt mix. Stay consistent with the brand you're going to use, and if I were you, I would choose Red Sea's Cool Pro Salt. I will recommend Red Sea's products any day of the week because they have scientific research and evidence to back up all their claims. They really know the science behind their products and they present it openly online and right on their products. I used to use Reef Crystals and that was really just giving me the bare minimum. Uh, but now using the Coral Pro Salt Mix from Red Sea, I see way more coral growth and that's just from the elevated levels of foundation elements that they have. It has 450 ppm of calcium, 1340 ppm of magnesium and lots of alkaline KH and a total of 45 elements. Uh, and that's the reason that if you ask around, people really love Red Sea's salt mix. How will you know how much salt to add? Lots of people buy hydrometers when they first buy saltwater tanks. These are going to do the job when testing salinity, but are simply not very accurate and malfunction often. I hear stories all the time of people who trust them, and then they realize that it was the wrong reading and their tank crashes. So what is the only way to be sure of the salinity or how salty your water is? you should buy a refractometer. And I again, use the one from Red Sea. What you do, you just lift the latch. You're gonna add a couple of drops of salt water. Then you're gonna put the latch down and look into it. Then a chart's gonna show up and you're gonna be able to accurately measure the salinity of your salt water. It can be from 1.021 to 1.025, but it should be on the high side of that scale if you have corals. I also recommend this one and not a cheap one because this one is specifically calibrated for reef aquarium water, unlike other refractometers for sale. You're also going to need a pump that will circulate the water when it's mixing. And it's also a good idea to have a heater if you have one. Uh, that's if you want to specifically match the temperature of the water you're mixing to your tank water. Uh, finally, just go get a container, a trash can, something clean that's going to work, and you're ready to go. Alright, enough prep. Let's get to the mixing. So first, you're going to want to use a handheld TDS meter to check the TDS in your RODI water. It should be zero. And just like the way it was when I made it yesterday, it is at zero ppm. So fill the container with RODI water. Today's batch I'm making is pretty small. Depending on the container size you have, you can make different size batches. Then you want to get your circulation and heater if you have one going. I just use an old tank return pump and that does the job easily. Start slowly adding the recommended amount of salt mix to the water and then let it mix for a couple hours. If using Red Sea salt, do not let it mix for more than two hours. This is an important tip because if you mix for too long, uh, the important elements are going to evaporate and start precipitating out of the water. As a general rule of thumb, once the water is completely clear, it will usually be ready to go. People ask me how often they should be doing water changes. The generic rule would be 10% of your tank's water every two weeks or 25% of your tank's water every month. Now, every tank is going to be different considering the amount of livestock in it, but as a general rule of thumb, that's usually the way it works. Now using my refractometer, I'm going to check the salinity of the water I just made. And basically, if the salinity is too high, you're going to add a little bit more fresh water. If it's too low, uh, you, then you can add some salt, but you're going to adjust it until it's perfect at what you need. For me, that would be 1.023. I highly suggest having extra water in case something goes wrong, you're going to be prepared. I'm George and I hope I gave you some good information so that you can now go successfully mix your own salt water. If this video helped you, click the subscribe button. I'm always coming out with really great new videos. Uh, if you liked the video, 
like it below and like my Facebook page. It's starting to grow a little bit and uh, I'm posting some cool stuff about my saltwater aquarium life on there. So like that page. See you in the next Coalfish 12G video. George, out.